Research is integral to everything that the NHS stands for. In February 2020, we were starting to think about what was going to happen in the Trust. And as an academic teaching hospital, then recruiting to trials is our core business. What transpired with COVID was that it was a far greater number of patients who came in a much more unscheduled way than we'd anticipated. And I think COVID really was just an exaggeration of what we try and do in a normal time, particularly because we had a disease where the treatments weren't available and we didn't understand how to treat the disease. It's important that any research that was done was designed in a way that it was going to be impacting the outcome for patients as soon as possible. The teams as a whole are crucial to all of what we do in research. I think it emphasises the importance with the Biomedical Research Centre where we have infrastructure in place that when you have a problem like COVID-19 that you have people in place with skills that can be useful for that. So the study opened on the 20th of April and we got six patients on the study within three days. Working on cancer studies normally, it would take us at least a year to recruit that many patients. Covactor was the first randomised clinical trial looking at the use of tocilizumab in hospitalised patients and that method of clinical trials is really the gold standard. It was also shocking to see how quickly these patients could deteriorate. The data that they gained from that study helped them to narrow down the patient group that it should be given to, and it was later found to have a benefit in the remap cap study. The recovery trial is a national study and it primarily was looking at repurposing known safe medicines. It was in March and that was when we first sort of were told, right, actually this is very, very, very serious. That's when the sort of recovery trial was essentially sort of handed to us. It would be very easy to go to people who, you know, only read English, but that's not about equal opportunity. So we, we recruit a, a vast, diverse range of patients. So in terms of the outcomes of the study, we've been part of finding out that dexamethasone works, which was just amazing. It was a very cheap drug that is easily accessible, that a lot of people didn't have much sort of faith in it. Just goes to show you, this is why research is important. Anti-health site started in September 2020. As COVID-19 is a new virus, the study is aiming to find why some participants or some patients they suffer from more severe symptoms than others, why some patients recover faster than others, and also what interventions helped those that had been hospitalised with COVID. We are the advocate from the get-go. Some are recovering, some have never recovered, and some have a new disability. So actually hearing the vulnerable side of the participants, I think was a great breakthrough moment. Around the 1st of April, I was admitted um, with, with COVID one morning, just couldn't move. When I was in the hospital, in the ward, I watched the nursing team, I watched them on a good day, bad day. So it kind of got me thinking, well, somebody, anybody could be that missing little link or key. And that's what encouraged me to, to go on the research. The nursing team, they worked so hard to put me back into my home. I can't pay them in money, but maybe I can help them. Research is integral to everything that the NHS stands for. In a pandemic situation, then you want to get trials initiated quickly. The quickest way to do that is with drugs that we already have. The REMAP-CAP trial is a trial that is looking at community-acquired pneumonia and how we might best treat that. And the idea is to use all kinds of different interventions at the same time. Typically, that process would take years and years, but if you have a drug that you already know is safe and that you already know is effective in some conditions, then you can repurpose that. So Remap-Cap is an incredibly designed trial, so incredible that it's embedded straight into clinical practice. It asks the question related to the disease rather to the intervention, and is adaptive as the data progresses, what became such an integral part with the clinical team. Uh, because we had to work so much closer together. There is more research to come. In intensive care, it's not easy. On awards, you have more chances of asking for the patient uh, view on the research. It's incredible that for those families, in a time when they are the most stressed, 
they consent to a study that they heard about over the phone. When we went to take the retrospective consents from the patients, there were patients that broke down into tears. There were patients that said nothing for a long period of time apart of thank you. We recruited our first patient for the MATTERS trial in October 2020. The MATTERS trial essentially is trying to address the hyperinflammation that is associated with COVID. With uh, COVID, it's really highlighted the importance for having good research infrastructure. But if you have a global perspective, I think any treatments that can stop patients from requiring intensive care would be really, really great. The idea for the COVID treatment group started in the early part of 2020, where there was an emerging uh, virus coming to uh, global attention, and we needed fairly rapidly to look at the best treatment for this new disease. When you're dealing with new therapies, you want pe people's voices or the staff's clinicians' voices to be heard, because the smallest bit of doubt or the smallest question could have an impact on care. We were pretty much operational 24-7. National guidance would come out, sometimes very late at night, and by the next working day, we had a draft in place to offer that for peer review and make sure that it was fitting the, the trial criteria, but also making sure that it was safe and effective for our patients coming through the front door. There are lots of areas of work in COVID-19 that will help us in the future, not just for similar diseases, but for all research. The way we've put trials together has been much faster, and I think that makes the whole process more satisfying for everybody, and it means means that the treatments that may be beneficial get to patients more quickly.